Good morning, folks. You know, I just can't stand it. I'm going to have to go back fishing again. I'm just going to get straight to the point. It's early in the morning. The birds is chirping like crazy. Springtime. I love to hear them. I really do. I just, I just love the sound of birds in springtime. It just goes together. But uh, yesterday I went fishing and done pretty good. And about 30 minutes before dark, I come up on a point. I mean, it was just about dark. I could barely see my line. I'd make a cast, could barely see that high vis line. I was looking for crappie. I do that a lot. I'll, I'll fish and then catch fish. And then the, and if I've got any daylight left, I'll keep looking for crappie in different places. Well, I found some fish on a point. Um, where the water come out about 15, 20 feet from the bank, tapered off from zero to around five foot, and then dumped off into about 12 foot of water. And I found a pile of fish right on the brake line, right where it dumped off. Now these fish right here are the kind I like to catch. I mean that point is just covered up with them. It's on a point that I've caught bass before. Uh, years ago, I used to fish that point with a Carolina rig and catch a lot of bass, but um, never tried it for crappie. So I'm eager to go back and see if there's some crappie still there. Now, that was yesterday evening. They might be there. They may not be, but the point is I have found them like that before and go back the very next day and they'd be gone. And that's how much crappie move. They're movers, they're the movingest fish that I know of. Hard to keep up with sometimes, but let's go chance it. Come with me. Let's go see if we can slay them in here on it. Hey. Elmer ain't here today because his boots is wore out and he's gonna go to Walmart and get him some more. You know, Elmer, let me put this on you right here. Okay. Certain elements contribute to peripheral background information, which is prohibited by irrelevancy. Think about it. Okay. All right, folks, today I'm going to start off with a six-foot eagle claw rod, light-action rod, with a Garcia Saron, four-pound test Mr. Crappie. And today I'm going to be using a Blue Ice Bobby Garland with a 124th of an ounce jig tied with a loop knot. And that's it. I'm just going to cast. Cast this point. make us a cast on out in there now these fish was about three four feet deep so I'm just gonna assume they're still about that deep just a slow wind I'm keeping my rod tip now low because it's sort of windy there he is I think they're still here, folks. That was a light, light bite. What I'm interested to see if these are just transition fish or if they're actually bedding right here. I don't know, that fish is awful black, ain't he? That's a good crappie right there. Beautiful specimen right here on the Tennessee River. Look at there, what a fish. Now that's beautiful colors right there. They're bedding right here. Y'all see that? He was peeing just a little bit. So they're not transition fish. They're actually bedding right here on this point. Let's let him go. What about that? All right, we should catch some fish then. Is what should happen right here. Let me make another cast right there. That fish was about four foot deep. There 
there's a fish. That fish picked that up while it was falling. <laughs> and he probably hit it about three foot deep. That fish is thick in here. Real thick. I want y'all to watch that crappie pool. My goodness. He's pulling for a reason because he's a good fish. Ain't no doubt about that. It's a good crappie. Come on in here. There we go. Y'all see how he's peeing there? Well, he quit right then. When I first picked him up, he did, but these are bedding fish. All right, feller. Let's let you go right there. Go on back in there and do your duty. Let's make us another cast in there. I believe they're real thick, folks. There he is. And it's that simple. When you come across that bed at the right speed, okay, right depth, that's what happens. It's a good one. He's doing some lulling right here. A lot of lulling. Mm -hmm. I just let them fight, let them have their fun. I don't like to just set the hook and jerk them in the boat. That's just not, not me. Everybody's different, but this is a good fish right here. This is the black crappie. Now, we ain't caught no white crappie in here yet. Come here. Y'all look what a fish. Quit, quit. Look at there. Whew. That's a huge fish right there. That's a big one. Let's get her plars. Get him off. They about done wreck my jig. That's about a 15 inch fish or better. Pushing cl uh, close to two pound. He's girthy. Let's let him go right there. Go on back, you pretty thing. All right. Hey, man in the boat. Let's catch another one. Whoa. Whoa. There he is, too. It's just one after another. There's just so many fish I'm putting in a video, but I'm telling you, this is probably number 30 right here. Just one after another in here on it and a black crappie. There ain't no white crappie in here. Come on. We'll just lift you on in here. Old, old scar head. Old knot head scar head. Let's let him go. I like to handle them real easy this time of year. So they can do their thing. Go on back in there, boy. Well, folks, that's going to be the end of it. We're going to wrap it up for today. Once again, a beautiful day. I've never seen a bad day. Winter, spring, fall, or summer. It's all the same to me. Enjoyable out here, I guarantee you. And I want to thank y'all again for spending the day with me. Uh, spawning crappie, fun to catch. And uh, you can wear them out if you find them. Okay, no doubt. 